or two founding father, um, President Su Karno and uh, Kwarid Azam, laid a very good foundation for the bilateral relations. And uh, what we now uh, trying to do uh, at the best is trying to expand the foundations, uh, which already been uh, once again put forward uh, by uh, our leaders. And I think when we are talking about bilateral relations, um, it encompasses very wide area for, in, for instance, like a politics, security, the uh, economy collaborations, and also social and cultural uh, affairs. I'm very uh, uh, proud to uh, say to you that the political relationship uh, is, uh, you know, getting stronger and stronger. If you look at, for instance, all, almost all of the Indonesian president, you know, visited uh, uh, Pakistan uh, in previous years. All except one president, President Habibie, the all presidents of Indonesia at one time they visited Pakistan, and. Um, uh, I think um, that's on the politic, and we also, uh, the collaboration also expand in trade and commercial affairs, whereby we can look at the statistic before we adopt a PTA pre preferential trade agreement in 2013 and compare the statistic today. We see that the increasing of trade, bilateral trade, is very significant, like a triple. Um, and then on the social cultures also, this is something that I'm also very pleased to inform you that now more and more people uh, uh, wants to, to go to Indonesia not only for uh, spending their leisure times to go to uh, Bali, but also to different places of Indonesia. And in addition to that, uh, they are also positive trajectory in terms of uh, nowadays many uh, uh, students from Pakistan who studies in Indonesia and wants to, you know, get a degree from Indonesia. There was also some bilateral consultations uh, which actually paved the way for the conclusions of joint uh, ministerial uh, committee. So on the political fronts now, we have a joint uh, ministerial uh, committee which uh, actually provide uh, a good mechanism for the leaders of uh, the two countries, especially led by uh, two uh, foreign ministers to, uh, you know, take stocks the progress of bilateral relations and also give strategic directions on how we would be able to increase further. And um, I think the, uh, the, the the visit of uh, high levels uh, continues also last year. The, uh, uh, the the speakers of parliaments, Pakistan, also visited Jakarta, and um, I think. Uh, well, they, they are, you know, more uh, will be coming soon uh, in, in terms of the um, uh, political consultations, bilateral relations. Yeah, I think uh, nowadays we are facing very um, uh, challenging times. And uh, I'll give you one example because I think uh, it is easy to, 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 to relate with the situations, not only uh, in Indonesia and Pakistan, but also globally, the climate change, the issue of climate change. Last year, we see how the devastating impact of uh, flooding in Pakistan. Uh, I mean, thanks to the uh, diplomacies and also thanks to the uh, collaborations among uh, the countries around the world. Now, we have a mechanism for loss and damage, which is actually was, uh, you know, put into self more than three decades. And I believe this is also uh, because of the consistencies of the uh, Pakistani governments in uh, highlighting the impact of uh, in the climate change. And this is one of the areas whereby we think uh, Indonesia and, and, and Pakistan can work together in uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, promoting uh, not, not only uh, addressing the issue of climate change, but also on uh, um, how we can take benefit of abundant natural resources for, which is available in Indonesia and Pakistan for promoting renewable industry. If you look at the conflict situations globally, more than 60% of conflicts actually occurred in uh, the OIC regionals, so in the OIC uh, countries. So uh, when we are talking about this, uh, it is important to underscore the roles of uh, peacekeeper, women peacekeeper. 
be it from Indonesia and Pakistan, because I think uh, with with those cultural and uh, you know uh, tradition uh, background, peacekeeper women peacekeeper from uh, the same Muslim countries, they would have the uh, advantage or they would have uh, more uh, ability in trying to uh, you know to talk to. Uh, uh, the most uh, vulnerable victims of uh, this conflict, which usually women and children. Uh, let's not forget that uh, Indonesia and Pakistan is also is very strategically located in you know the area whereby we can easily connect to different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, I keep saying to uh, friends in Pakistan, if you look at Indonesia, please also consider Indonesia as the hub to expand. Uh, you know, the trade um, uh, presence of Pakistan to the ASEAN. Likewise, we keep telling our uh, entrepreneur in Indonesia, business community in Indonesia, look at Pakistan as a gateway to the Central Asia or to the wider regions. We now understand that, you know, the world relies on, you know, uh, certain countries on particular products. So, um, why not we team up uh, Pakistan and, and, and in Indonesia to uh, explore the uh, areas whereby we have a complementarity. So uh, rather than we competing each other, why not we team up, you know, make a team and then explore, um, you know, like a niche market. Let me give you an example on the textile or garment. Everyone knows that Pakistan has produced the best qualities of garment. If you want to, to buy, uh, once again, some more uh, with the more affordable prices, uh, uh, Pakistan is producing uh, those quality, those uh, the best qualities of a garment. But some materials may come from different part of the world, like Indonesia. We uh, we learned that Pakistan purchased some raw materials for like uh, cotton, for um, artificial cottons like rayon, polyester, and uh, we produce those. We produce those polyesters, and uh, why not we team up? You know, the raw materials may come from Indonesia, processes by Pakistans, either in Pakistan or in, 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 in Indonesia. And we, we export this product to different countries. Another example, if I may, on the spices. I know that Pakistans love spices very much uh, with garam masala. And uh, I read one of the studies uh, conducted by, um, I think, one of the uh, Chamber of the Commerce in Pakistan identifying that Pakistan have the advantage to become um, a leader uh, exporter of uh, spices because you have the huge diaspora, you have the ethnic outlet, huge ethnic outlets, not only in the uh, Europe, but also in the US and probably also in the eastern part of the Asia. Uh, we learned that uh, you know, there was interest for Pakistan to uh, to offer uh, the jet fighters to uh, different countries, like in Indonesia also. And uh, I think so, um, uh, on, on the last visit of President Jokowi in 2018, uh, the president also uh, visited uh, the, uh, the I, I think it's one of the uh, air base whereby the uh, Pakistani Air Force then display uh, one of the best uh, jet fighters that they have produced. On, on, this is one of the areas whereby we are uh, uh, engaging more interactions on defense uh, to defense collaborations. Uh, we are also making jet fighters, uh, KX program uh, with South Korea. Uh, but uh, who knows in the future, you know, uh, we can connect in this because uh, we should not uh, close all the possibilities of expanding collaboration, especially on the, uh, you know, um, area whereby uh, high technologies uh, plays very important role. Connectivity is one of the priority of ASEAN. How to bridge different part of uh, ASEAN, uh, especially for Indonesia and pa in, in Philippines, who are archipelagic, archipelagic countries, and um, that's why we we look at uh, very importance of the, uh, you know. Uh, the CPEC because CPEC also will uh, will 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 serve as uh, 
you know, strengthening the connectivity, uh, interconnectivity. Because when, when we are talking about trade, connectivity is the key. At uh, CPEC, by building not only the infrastructures, but also the uh, other, you know, energy uh, project will certainly uh, uh, bring, you know, benefit to uh, the develop economic and social development in, in Pakistan. And uh, we have, um, I think, um, we have, uh, so far we have two uh, Indonesian companies who already uh, invested in the spatial economic zones within the CPEC uh, 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 corridor, one in, in Faisalabad and one, the other one in uh, since uh, provinces. And uh, I think the message that uh, uh, resonate with, with, with the um, uh, business community in Indonesia, when we, they look at uh, you know, the geographic map of Pakistan, they see how important Pakistan uh, for you know uh, connecting to the wider area in Central Asia or in Middle East, uh, because with with that then you know uh, what we need is just to establish our presence in 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 Pakistan and uh, you know once again uh, because Pakistan also offer the special economic zone so this is also there is a lot of benefit that we we see. Uh, the government of Pakistan's offer in the spatial economic zone. So we, in close consultations with, with uh, many chambers of the commerce in Indonesia, uh, to explore this, uh, you know, these possibilities uh, in the short future.